Hey everybody, Matt Williamson back here on Pop Goes the 60s. Today I'm going to do a quick drink recipe that it, we're gearing up here for St. Patrick's Day and we're very close to it here. So if you're having anybody over this weekend and you want to impress your buddies and maybe do maybe a little bit, bit of a special beer, this is one way to impress them. It also tastes very good. It's a black and tan. So this is a combination of a lager and Guinness typically, a stout. And what you do, grab yourself I grab harp here. Usually, bass or harp is what I usually use, but any lager will do. And you pour your drink, and you pour it in a way that gives a pretty good size head on there. It doesn't have to be too big, but you definitely want some head. And what that does is that allows for the stout to be poured on top of it, and it holds the stout at the top. Let's put a little more in here. Okay. Open up our Guinness. Listen to that. And then what I've done is I've taken this tiny ladle here and bent it back. So what you do is you drop it right in here and you slowly pour your Guinness over the top. Now these do take a little bit of time to do. So the friends, if you've got friends you're doing this for, you better like them. But they'll be impressed. They'll appreciate the effort because it's a very nice looking beer to drink. And as I get older, and start learning how to appreciate a good cocktail or a good beer. These are the little effects that help you uh, give it a little, put a little artistic spin on it. And I've been practicing this, so I've gotten a little bit better at it. Now you can probably already see, I hope you can see the color, I'll have to cut away and show you in a moment, but how the stout is remaining on the top just because it's lighter. Now, if you like beer, um, not everybody is a beer drinker, but uh, like I said, you can use really any lager below, but Bass or Harp are the two Irish beers I've typically used here. And back in the day, in the college days, we uh, used to drink these around this time. In fact, on St. Paddy's Day, we go out to the bars before work. I think they opened at 6 in the morning here. I can't do that anymore. Nor do I want to. One or two of these in the evening will do me just fine. So we're getting to the top here. I'm going to do a little bit more. So with two cans of this, you can pretty much do two pint glasses. All right. Let's hold this up here and see if this piece of paper behind it will help. So that's what it looks like and what it should like look like if you pour it slowly. A quick pour and it'll mix together. If you don't have the proper head on the lager, it's going to mix together and you're gonna have just a black and no tan. Nice. So if you want some music to go along with a drink like this, I have a video that I did last year on an Irish band called Emmett Spiceland, so check that out. I'll put a link at the end of this video. And uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody.